Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing an exciting Revolve haul try on. I absolutely love Revolve, this video is not sponsored by Revolve, I have worked with them previously. I absolutely love Revolve regardless, it's somewhere I usually like to dip into when I'm looking for some trend pieces or like everyday kind of wearable pieces which are not super, how do I put this nicely? not shit quality. They have good quality pieces. They also have some really quirky brands and some amazing designers. But before we get into this video, you guys need to download Honey. Honey is today's sponsor and is actually a service which I've been secretly using for about a year now. I was introduced to it when Antsy collabed with them and I was blown away. Okay, okay. let's see. That was quick. Oh, okay. It's done. That, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Where do you shop, where do you shop now? In Nata Porter. Does this mean they've got yeah oh that's it activate and boom Honey is a free browser extension which automatically generates coupon codes on over 30,000 supported websites, varying from fashion brands, beauty brands, home decor, as well as food delivery. So you can save money on that Domino's. I absolutely love Honey and I think it's an amazing platform. If you guys don't have it, you need it, especially if you love to spend money as well as save money. You can download it using the link in the description box below, which is joinhoney.com slash Laylee and start saving. Every time you go to check out, Honey will automatically pop up on their supported site and all you have to do is apply coupons and watch the money drop. You're welcome. So this is a cowl neck top. I've never really been the biggest fan of cowl neck, but I feel like this one is kind of cute. It's not bad. Like I'm feeling it. And it's in this slinky kind of material, this jersey material, so it's stretchy. It's got adjustable straps. It's very easy to wear with a pair of cute high-waisted jeans. And you're good to go. I do believe it comes in other colors, but obviously I love a good white top. I think it just goes with everything. I then picked up this jumper from a brand called Lovers and Friends. It's like a cropped cardigan and I really love cropped cardigans with like high-waisted like mum jeans or straight jeans. I think it's such a vibe. It's just really easy to wear in Dubai particularly because it's so hot outside but then you come indoors and it's really cold and you wanna just put on like something light, a cute cardigan and you're good to go. It's got like this boxy cut. Sleeves are a bit long but I love oversized sleeves. I think it does come in other colors if I'm not mistaken. I will link everything down below. Okay, so this top is from a brand called Super Down on Revolve. All these brands are actually on Revolve. I don't know if it's meant to be worn this way, but it kind of reminds me of the Cult Gaia top that I recently got. However, I think I prefer the cut on this one. Although saying that, I don't actually know if this is the front and this is the back because the label's here, but it could also be, I don't know. I think I prefer it this way. So, also, the adjustable straps, I feel like they're backwards, but it's fine. I'm not really complaining. I think that this is such a cute top. It's really easy to wear, and if you just put on like a nice stick on bra, you're good to go. A lot of people ask me about the undergarments that I wear. I'm literally almost always wearing a bra, unless I'm at home. Bras are so key for boobs to ensure that they stay perky, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> I remember going up and when I was in my etiquette classes, we were told that you should always wear a bra because it keeps your tits perky. I'll also even sleep in a bra. Even if it's a sports bra, just to keep them, don't let gravity get to your tits or do whatever you're comfortable with. But yeah, this is a cute piece. I love the colour, I think it's such a nice colour for summer. Although saying that, summer has um, come and gone very rapidly. Sad times. But I do live in Dubai, the weather is amazing all year round. This is another little piece that I got. It's a cute crop top. I'm really loving little frilly kind of crop tops with high-waisted straight jeans or mum jeans. I actually wore this a few videos ago and a lot of you guys asked me about it. I do a lot of Revolve shopping, I just don't ever get around to filming these hauls. If you guys enjoy them, I'll definitely do more. Um, I thought I'd just include this in this haul because it is a really nice piece. I do believe it's shown like with the sleeves up on the model, but I really like my collarbones and my shoulders, so, you know. I definitely think it looks more elegant and flattering when it's off the shoulder and it's got these really nice sheared sleeves with like puffy detailing. What I like about it is that it's not showing off too much skin, like even the back, completely covered. Everything that needs to be covered is covered and you can show off a little bit of collarbone, neck. I don't ever like showing too much skin. It's just not 
it's not really my vibe i think it's a cute little piece to have in your closet for just like casual days and i do think it comes in a dress version so next is this little wrap dress i absolutely love this also like squeezes your tits in if you tie it tight enough i love a good wrap dress for spring summer obviously i'm in the wrong season right now but technically i'm not because it kind of feels like spring in dubai right now which is amazing we're in this amazing transitional period and it's got this little cute ruffle detailing another feature that i love about this is it completely wraps over like it's not split in the front so when you're walking you're gonna be worried about having your fanny out no one wants that it's not a vibe but guys bear in mind i am five foot so i just want to say if you are a petite girl revolve actually do some really great pieces because i want a short little sundress i don't want to see a really nice little sundress on a six foot model and then try it on and have it be knee length do you get what i mean if you're petite you'll get what i mean but this is cute i love this this is like the perfect height just covers my ass but i definitely think if you are taller than like five three five four this may be a bit too short for you next is this little piece from a brand called privacy please i don't know if i'll keep this piece because it's just a bit overpowering for me also this neck stitch I don't know how I feel about it. It can be tied... Two seconds? Yeah, that's my issue. It's it's pretty open here. I mean, it can be tied like this or it can be done like a halter neck, how I initially had it. However, I just... It's a bit loose, to be honest. Like, the elastic up here, it's not sitting nicely. It's, like, kind of dropping down my back and I don't like that. I also don't feel like this is the most flattering cut for me. Shorten and tighten, it could be cuter. I do really love the detailing on this and I'm buying a lot more colours recently because I just have all these colourful bags which I invested in this year and I just, I don't want to be wearing an all black outfit with a colourful bag anymore, I want to be trying to experiment with more colours. Okay so halfway through this video I decided to accessorise my outfit. So this is a really cute little rouge kind of casual dress, this is something I would probably reserve just for the beach or like a beach club or a lounge, maybe with like a white shirt over on top. It's so nice. This is in the smallest size and I love how it's got this adjustable detailing. So you can shorten it or, you know, lengthen it as much as you want. I prefer it slightly asymmetric. And I paired it with my favorite new, well, I don't really love this one too much, but um, <laughs> this is the Hermes Kelly in shit what was the color called blue pale i also added this really cute little twilly onto her and it's got like blue yellow well lime and like light pink detailing so i pair it with like coordinating hermes sandals which i'm sure you probably saw in my last vlog i wore this bag with like an all white tracksuit and then paired it with yellow hermes around sandals because i thought that little touches of yellow could work together i loved this piece so much that i got it in another color this is the pink version obviously i got it to match the bag because i haven't yet worn this really cute pink kelly out yet and i really want to wear her out i think this will be a really nice vibe for the weekend it's like the perfect beach weather right now so we're all at the beach on the weekends i'm sure you can tell by my amazing tan I literally never tan so this is really cute like i said it's kind of got this rib material you can adjust the bottom and i like it i want to wear like colorful beaded jewelry and just be like a boho beach girl that's one of my personalities a boho beach girl but obviously with an Hermes kelly on okay this is a piece that i really love because it's fairly covered up it's got long sleeves it's not super short but it also gives you a waist. I don't want to be wearing a sack, but I also want to be covered. And I feel like this is a really nice, easy to wear dress. This is something I could potentially get away with in the mall. I say that, a lot of people don't understand that, but basically the rules are here that either your shoulders need to be covered or your knees need to be covered or both. Either way, I'll do one. This I feel like is modest enough to get away with and paired with like a little snazzy Chanel bag. This is a really old piece. It's got sequin detailing and it's it's cute. I really do love this little dress. I think it's so cute and easy to wear. And the back is just tied up like that. It's kind of frustrating because you have to keep tightening it, but it's not that bad. 
and it's in this really lightweight fabric obviously not great for for winter great for spring summer <laughs> This isn't the best haul to do right now, but you guys get me, okay? Okay, so this is something I definitely think you can get away with wearing in full winter. It is this beautiful knitted, I believe it was supposed to be a midi dress, but it's low-key a maxi dress on me. It comes up to my ankles, but I'm not actually mad about it because it's so well fitted and it's got these amazing fishnetty kind of cutouts. Well, not really cutouts, but like panels almost it's in this ribbed fabric so it sucks you in holds everything in and it's quite a good stretch to it i got this smaller size whenever it comes to fitted things i'll always go down a size because i'm small um well i'm not saying like i'm small as in like oh my god i'm so tiny but because i'm smaller than the average person i'm five foot i don't know how many times i've reiterate this um i tend to go down the size because we're more compact so i don't know if you guys can see this but the paneling is like on the shoulders but it does have a really nice neckline you still got a bit of collarbone detailing there is a sheer panel over here by the waist then you're covered completely your ass is completely covered it's a cute vibe like i would probably wear this to date night might wear this on my anniversary. I could wear this a date night and I could also wear this to my ex-husband's funeral. So just disclaimer, I don't actually have an ex-husband. Just wanna let you guys know that because sometimes people like to twist things that I say and they take jokes out of context and don't understand that I'm just joking, so yeah. It's a joke, I don't have an ex-husband. If I did, I'd probably wear this to his funeral with a massive fur collar shawl thing and i will be taking this to london with me by the time you watch this i'll probably be in london makes me feel hot next we have this little black shift dress i love a knitted dress and this is in size extra small but it's meant to not be fitted which i don't mind i don't feel like everything has to be fitted especially when it comes to little black dresses it depends on the vibe you want to go for this is like a cute little date night dress i could pair it with some nice either my chanel tights gucci tights plain tights nice pair of heels and a cute bag, nice coat, and you're ready to go to dinner. It's not like it's a bandage dress where it looks kind of hoochie. Does that make sense? I feel like when things are short, black and fitted, sometimes they can come across as a bit too much, particularly if you're going on just a nice dinner date. But when it's like not fitted, it's in this beautiful like knit, rib knit fabric, it's kind of casual, but also it doesn't look casual. I love this neckline. I love a good square neck with these thick straps. I think it's really cute. And when it doesn't look like you're trying too hard, I feel like this could be a vibe. I'm so sorry I'm not able to show you guys like full length videos right now. I'm still trying to fix this set up and I'm not in my own bedroom so it's hard to like move things around. I do believe I left the best outfit to last. I know this doesn't look that great but trust me it is so cute. It's like this long pants set which I actually wore to dinner last night. I went to a restaurant and I wore this with like my white Chanel trainers. I actually tucked this into my bra so it was kind of like cropped. There's a bit of skin showing. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera but it is actually completely see-through but not in like a tacky way i wore this with my little dior briefs so it literally looked like i was wearing granny pants but they were dior and then i had my dior bralette on underneath so it was kind of like oh it's a dior vibe and then i wore like a long black blazer which literally covered my ass and no one even knew it was see-through but it was like a casual, cool vibe. I do think this is more of like a loungewear vibe, but this is totally something you can pull up to your man's house in and be like, this outfit doesn't leave too much to the imagination, but it shows off just enough skin to get what you want. <laughs> I think this is a cute little vibe. I definitely want to get this in another cut. No, actually, I think it's perfect in black. I'm going to have to get this tightened though, because I feel like the waist should be tighter. I mean, yeah otherwise it just it doesn't really go i don't think the set comes together you have to get the pieces individually but i really love the look of this set overall together i feel like it's really cohesive i've never really been a huge co fan but this is one set which i genuinely love these pants are just really flattering if you are five foot i wouldn't be too worried they're not super long you can actually wear them with trainers as well as heels i wore these with trainers to dinner i think on the model they're cropped top tip i'm sure all you petite girls out there already know 
the tips for <laughs> buying long trousers is look for the crop version but yeah so this is cute i i really love this if you're looking for a nice casual outfit to wear to your man man's house if you're looking for a nice casual but also not too try hard but also i look nice outfit to wear to your man's house this is the one like this is this is winning this is like this is one of those outfits where it's like yeah i put no effort into this but also i still look really good especially if you're wearing the right underwear <laughs> Okay, so that is it from me for today. I feel like a TV presenter. Um, yeah, that's it. That's uh, everything that I got from Revolve. I think I got a really good selection. Revolve is never really a miss. It's always a hit, but sometimes the sizes are off, but I'm just not that person that returns, so it doesn't really bother me. Everything's, everything's a win. Um, I absolutely love Revolve. If you guys haven't checked it out, then do so already. Another shout out to our amazing sponsor, Honey. If you guys haven't already downloaded it and you love to save money and you want to save money, then make sure you download it because it's not costing you anything and it's just amazing. You guys know I love a good money saving platform. Like, I think it's great. And the amount I shop is just ridiculous. So I need to save. I have an issue and I need to save to ensure I can fund this issue. Otherwise, one day I'm just gonna go broke. Just kidding, that's not happening. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you liked. Links to everything will also be down below. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow my new brand on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I will see you guys in my next video.